Hello, everyone, and welcome to Stories Untold, episode one in particular, The House Abandoned. We're going to be playing the first episode today uh, because I played through this game previously a while ago with a friend. We got up to episode three and we never finished the game, so I kind of want to come back and finish it. Uh, so since I have to play through all the episodes again to get to episode four, I thought it'd be fun to record some of it for the channel. And I was kind of planning on playing episode one on the channel one day eventually, and that day is today. Um, so yeah, it's one of my favorite episodes too. Like out of the three that I've played, it's my absolute favorite because it's based off of text-based adventure games, which I used to play a lot as a kid. Um, and I like the way they do it. It's kind of like a modern twist of a text-based adventure game where like they set you up in a room so it feels very atmospheric and very spooky. Uh, it's not horrific or jump scary or anything like that, or at least I don't feel like it is. It's been a while since I played this though, so I might be forgetting a few important details. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be fun to play on the channel. And like I said, I always kind of wanted to play episode one on the channel. So, with that being said, we'll get into it. Mmm, my oh my, what a lovely sound to start off with. Oh, it's just lovely on the ears. I have to admit, I never played a text-based adventure game that was this old-fashioned. Like, I played a lot of them on the computer. But I never played any that you could hook up with your TV. How'd they do that anyways? I just realized. How do you connect a, a keyboard to a TV? Could you do that with old CRTVs? I never even knew that. Anyways, you pull up to the driveway of your family holiday home and park the car. It's dark but as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Okay. Um, so obviously we're in a car because there's a glove box. So look around car. It's a nice clean car. Not much to see, but there is a glove box. Did we mention though? there's a glove box. <laughs> um, okay. And I like to like look around cause like with old text-based adventure games, like usually if you use the command, like look around or something like that, they tell you everything that you can interact with and everything you can do. Um, so it's usually nice to just look around and take in the scenery for a second, but it looks like the only thing we can mess with is the glove box. Uh, so open. Also, you get to hear the lovely sounds of my chunky keyboard on top of the keyboard sounds that they added to the game. <laughs> I think it's funny that they added the keyboard sounds, even though you need a keyboard to play this episode, basically. I don't know. I just found it funny. Um, open glove box. Maybe you don't need a keyboard. I don't know how else you would do this, though. Inside, there is a key and a handwritten note from your dad. You take both. Okay. Look at note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoyed your break. You're going to need to fire up the generator around the back to get the power and the lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Is this a good dad voice? I have no clue. Um, okay. Cool. You pull up to the driveway of the- I've already read this. Okay. I think we've done everything we can in the car, so let's leave car. You open the car door and step out. Perfect. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is a front door and the yard stretches around to the side of the house. Okay. Walk across yard? Because they said the generator was in the back of the house, right? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Oh, you just don't understand. This is the part that I always like, as a kid, I always felt like so accomplished when I finally got something to work in terms of commands. Um. Like, and then, like, I always tried, like, a bunch of random commands to see if I could, like, find anything that, like, maybe no one else had found yet, and then the internet happened, and YouTube happened, and I was like, oh, everyone knew about that thing, okay. Um, anyways, uh, ba -ba -ba. so how do I say I want to go to the back of the house? Go to back of the house? The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. But I don't want to go in the house. I want to find the generator. Dad said that the generator was around the back of the house, right? We have to turn that on first. Uh, what if I say go to generator? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Am I spelling generator correctly? <laughs> but how do I how do I start the generator? Okay, apparently this generator that I was told about does not exist because I've tried every combination possible to make it work. Um, so I guess we'll just unlock the door. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Like, maybe I have to do this first, and then it'll be like, oh, the power is not on. You gotta go work with the generator. You know, like, I have to do things in a certain order. Um, okay, so go inside. You step inside the front door. I feel accomplished. <laughs> you enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. 
Uh, I know it's gonna happen, but flick light switch. I swear, I know how to type. A click and then nothing. There is no power. The note should say how to restore it. Yeah, I know how to restore it, but apparently the generator does not exist. It's like a Jedi mind trick. This is not the generator you are looking for. Um, okay, so look for generator. Uh, of course, you don't know what I'm looking at. Okay, let me just leave house. You step outside the front door. Uh-huh. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is a front door. The yard stretches around the side of the house. Uh, okay. But I can't go to the back of the house because when I try to go to the back of the house, we enter the house. So how do I get to the back of the house to turn on the generator? Ah, I had to say go to yard. Okay. Like sometimes the, the way that the game works, because like the way you have to type commands is kind of weird because like, you know, you you skip some words, you know, instead of saying like travel around the yard or go around the yard or go to the back of the house. Like that's too many words. It's just go to yard. <laughs> the yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Okay. Look for generator. The field gauge is healthy and it is manually operated. Turn on generator. Of course, now it exists. I just was in the wrong area. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Well, probably. Okay, so go inside house. You walk back around to the front of the house. The house is grand, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's try this again. It's just a flick and switch. It's almost like Wingardium Leviosa, but not quite. I don't know what you're trying to... Fine. I was trying to make a funny. That's what I was trying to do. That's what I was trying to use. A funny. Flick light switch. Is that a bit more clear? There we go. You flick the switch and the lights come on. I feel accomplished so much just to turn on lights. Uh, the hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen, the living room, as well as the set of stairs going up. Um, okay, let's go to kitchen because I want a snack. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Okay, so if I say look around kitchen, is it going to say it's just a kitchen? Probably. It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Okay, fine. Uh, go to utility room utility room door is locked Do you have no idea where the key could be so is there a way to find the key though if i know where to look i have no idea where to look but that's something to ponder um okay can i look no because i already said look around kitchen uh and they didn't say anything about the kitchen okay fine so Go to hallway. What was the other option? You go back out to the hallway. It was a living room, right? Access to the kitchen and the living room. Okay, so go to living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good times in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Unless you're playing Monopoly. Um, okay. So look around living. Like, I'm not sure if this is really gonna give me any sort of, you know, different response, but it's worth a shot. Nothing here of interest. Well, that's what you think, but I find a lot of things interesting. Um, okay. What else could we do then? Cause I don't wanna go upstairs quite yet. I wanna look for things. I wanna find stuff. I wanna find secrets. All right, well, if there are secrets in either of these rooms, it's beyond my comprehension and the game's comprehension because we're on completely different pages. Whenever I try to type anything in, it's like, I don't understand what you're trying to say. So I guess we'll just go back to the hallway. Go to hallway. It's so weird, like, like, it's been so long since I played a text-based adventure game. Like, just typing go to hallway feels so incomplete. I'm like, go back to the hallway, you know? Like, I want to add some more words, but it's like, no, that just confuses the game. Um, the hallway is brightly lit. Okay, so let's go to stairs. And it's not go upstairs. It's go to stairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. 
The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Happy times. Okay. I kind of skipped some words there, but you get the idea. Um, look in bathroom. Sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. Fine. Go to bathroom. You step inside the bathroom. You are in the bathroom. Okay, that's fully established. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. Take a, <laughs> wait, 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 no. Take Browns to the Super Bowl. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Well, if you don't get the lingo, like I get it. <laughs> I was trying to be subtle about it. Oh. I said look around bathroom and it said the bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Uh, look in mirror. It's your reflection. Looking good, A. Um, okay. Uh, say Bloody Mary. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, you know what? Now, now I just feel like you're making fun of me. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess we're done in the bathroom. I'll stop messing around now. Uh, so let's go to landing. I think that's the word they used. It would help if I could spell it correctly. You step back onto the landing. The stairwell landing. There's a bathroom, two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures on the wall. Um, okay. Are they pictures of you? Pictures of me. All upon the wall for the world to see. Anyways. Um, look, or no. Go to sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room. My sister? Okay, if, if it paused for a second, I was like, is something spooky about to happen? I don't remember this happening. Kind of freaked me out. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you saw her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies, but her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Tell me about it. This entire game is a real nostalgia trip. Uh, look at toys, right? Yeah, soft toys, so look at toys. Every soft toy she has ever owned. Okay, like I feel like they're giving me hints to like look around the room, but I don't know what to mess with. Ooh, I was gonna say to look around the toys to see if there was something hidden on the bed, but apparently I guess it thought I, I said look around room and it said there's also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room, the door is slightly ajar. Look. In wardrobe, find Narnia. A large clothes wardrobe. Unusually, the door is slightly ajar. She never liked you going through her stuff. Can we go to wardrobe? Is it gonna say the same thing? Okay. Uh, look in wardrobe? I don't know. Like you have to be very specific about the words you use. A large clothes wardrobe, unusually the door is slightly ajar. Open wardrobe. It is empty apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Look at photographs. They are all identical. A forest road at night, you put them back. Photos of another time. Huh, okay. Well, I found one secret, it's good enough for me. So we will leave and go back to the landing. So go to landing, cause we need to go in our room. We still have our room left. I feel like we've done a lot so far. It, t it takes a while to you know do basic things, but at the same time, it feels like an accomplishment. Um, okay, so would it be go to, oh wait, did I space that? I don't know if I spaced that. No, I didn't. Go to my room. You walk into your old room, your old bedroom. So many good memories in here and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Open box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Your dad has found your old computer, a Futuro 128K plus two. It's very specific. <laughs> it's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Is that what we're playing on now? Um, okay. I gotta sneeze. Hold on. Okay. We're good. I'm also in my old bedroom still. 
There's so many good memories in it still, and it's been preserved so well. On your desk is your computer and a copy of The House Abandoned. It's all still to be set up though. Okay, set up. Uh, computer? Whoops, computer? You start to plug in the various cables and leads. Wow, we're just our own IT. <laughs> the computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. Uh, play House Abandon. Is the house abandoned? Yeah. Um, play the house ab abandon. Well, w <sighs> ah, there we go. You put the cassette in the computer and you press play. Okay. Okay. Turns out this game had a jump scare in it after all. I guess we short circuited something. Oh. Hey, it's midnight. Happy New Day! Happy on New Year! Oh. Oh, it's upside down. Get out of where? Get out of this house? That's unfortunate, because I don't know how to get out of this house. You pull up to the- Hey, wait a second, we've seen this before! Oh, but it's clearly neglected this time. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Well, this is not the nice, optimistic, positive outlook that I was, you know, expecting as compared to last time. Um, okay, look, or no, let me just open glove box because we already looked at glove box and all that. Okay, open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. I forget, does the note say anything different? Look at note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car, or just get out car. <laughs> of is too big a word. We can't use the word of. That's too many, it's too many words. Um, okay. So you want me to get out of the car? Fine. Get out car. What you said verbatim. Oh man, it didn't get any of that. There we go. You force the warped car door open and then other things happened. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. What are their dementors? Uh, there is no love here. Look for dementors. Yeah, of course you don't. Okay, we're just gonna expedite this a little bit and just go straight to the yard. The grass is overgrown, the weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around yard. There is an old generator next to you. Turn on generator. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Hey, that's nifty. Our light came on at the same time. And now it's doing Morse code. That's not freaky at all. Um, okay. Go to door. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, uh, go to... Worry in the yard, so go to house? I don't know. You go back to the front of the house. There we go. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. That's not good. It's a very intense lock, apparently. Uh, go inside. You reluctantly step inside the front door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hand. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Okay, I really want to read this note again to see what happens, but first we need some light, so flick light switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and trails. Jeez Louise. Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock is blaring. Someone else is in the house. That can't be. Uh, turn off alarm. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. Yeah, I'm feeling it. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Okay, but let's, let's, t let's give it a read, you know? See if there's anything going on. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. 
yeah, that's something, that's something going on. I don't know if notes are supposed to do that. Um, okay. Well, let's go ahead and go to kitchen. You go to the kitchen. Excitedly. <laughs> The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there's a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room has a red X painted on it. Uh, go to util... Yeah, I spelled that right. Okay, utility room. You know, sometimes even with a college degree, you question if you actually spell things correctly. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Okay, so look around kitchen. Did I already say that? I can't remember if I said that already. There seems to be writing on the wall that looks like blood. Read. I still don't know how to spell. Read writing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Well, sounds so inviting. It's right around the same time Stranger Things is happening. Eleven, help me. Oh my God, it says 1986 on the wall now. Were the pictures scratched out before? I don't remember that. Oh, I don't remember any of this. Okay, I think we played this like much more straightforward. Oh, and the walls are bleeding. <gasps> oh, I don't remember any of this from the first time I played this. Oh, that's freaky. Okay, look at, oh, I'm freaked out now. Look at red X. There's a red X on the door. You assume it's paint. Yeah, it must be paint. It feels like the note. Oh, but the note is bleeding. Did we mention though, the note is bleeding. So I don't think that's paint. Okay, one last thing and then we'll be done in the kitchen. You look closer, but you can't tell what it is or what it was. Um, okay, can I go to it? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, um, then I guess go to what was it called the hallway was it the hallway yeah go to hallway you step back into the hallway your shoes are wet you are still in the hallway the noise has stopped but you feel a presence okay oh i thought about that or i didn't think about that before but i just thought about that can i go back to the kitchen and read the note again i'm kind of curious to see if it says something different the paper now feels like fabric it's covered in blood you can just make out the words there is nothing for you here oh, okay well that's that's nice. Thanks for making that, you know, clear cut and dry. Um, okay, so now we can go back to the hallway. Or not. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. Okay, we've read this all before. All right, well, since this house seems so inviting, let's go to the living room. You enter the living room. Or should we call it the dying room? Huck, 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 with how terrifying this house is. Uh, the living room, although hardly an appropriate term, yeah. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Um, okay, look at furniture. Did I spell furniture wrong? God dang it. The furniture looks disgusting. There is no way you would sit on it. Sit on <laughs> uh, furniture. No chance. God dang it. I thought I was going to get him. Okay, fine. Um, is there anything else we can look at in here? Dare you try to look around? I think I already tried to look around living room. Run down and empty, abandoned for good reason. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for the living room. So go to hallway. Sorry, I keep forgetting to read the note in the different rooms to see if it says anything different. The note always changing now reads, get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Well, that's not very caring of you. You're not the most sensitive soul, are you, note? Okay. Um, so now that we read the note in there, we can, I think I have to go to the hallway. I don't think I can go straight to the stairs. Go to, I guess we could try. Go to stairs. Yeah, no. Okay, so go to hallway. Cause the game is like, there's no stairs in here, dum-dum. Okay, still in the hallway, the noise has stopped, blah, 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 and now it reads 999 before it was zero. I didn't realize that before. Um, okay, so go upstairs. You head up the stairs, they creak. Creak? Oh, God. There's a sound! Okay, there's a sound. Same but different. The landing. Oh, my God. Behind you, the, uh, behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. Uh, answer 
phone. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do whoever you consider the worst. What? You need to hang up the phone. I do whoever. What? What does that mean? Okay, hang up phone. Relief. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures all over the wall, but something is different about them. Look at pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Yeah, you don't say. I, I noticed that trend. Um, okay. Uh, read note. The note is now clean again. Simply reading, get in, get out. Well, at least it's to the point. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered with a layer of oily grime. The stink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Okay, look around first and then we'll read the note. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Look in sink for deformed baby. It's disgusting. Grime and dead bugs. Taps won't budge. Okay. We're not doing a crossover quite yet. Uh, in, in case you guys get that reference. Um, uh, what else can we do? So look at mirror. You can't bear to look at yourself. Well, we can't anyways because it's broken, right? Um, okay. Read note. The note is impossible to read due to the black oil that now covers it. Okay, makes sense. Okay, I think we're done in here. So go to landing. You step back onto the landing. Dare you read the note here? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay, because it said get in, get out. Uh, so let's go to sister, sister's room and see if Tia and Tamara Maori are in there. Probably not. Be a nice surprise, but I doubt that's the case. Okay, so go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Can we unboard it? <laughs> Is there any way to get rid of the boards? Okay. It seems we can't get into Jennifer's room, or at least if we can, I have no clue how, because I've tried every command I could think of. So we will go to my room. In my room. Uh, the door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Okay, never mind. I, now I remember the 1986 thing. Um, okay, enter code or enter combination I'm sorry I don't understand of course you don't there we go you grab the lock the lock is rusted not used in years the key in your hand weighs heavy the note heavier you grab the lock and can now input the code can I look at the note instead because every time they mention the note I'm like but what if it says something different the note is reacting. Get in the door, get in the door, get in the room, get in, do it, go, just do it. Thank you, Shia LaBeouf. Um, or Palpatine, depending on how you're feeling today. Um, okay. Do I have to like do all that again? No, okay. Um, can I look at the key? Look at key. I hate this key. I should have never come here. Okay, well at least you're, you know, in touch with your feelings. Um, okay, so enter code. You need a working four digit code. You know it's in the house somewhere. Okay, I know the code. I know what the code is. Um, enter code, didn't I just put that? I don't know, I just wanna enter the code. Okay, if I just put in 1986, will it work? There we go, the lock clicks open. Same but different. The landing has access to all the rooms and the bathroom, everything you could ever want and more, and there are pictures all over the wall. Okay, enter my room, which is where we are. So it's gonna be a awkward, you know, situation. The door is closed. Open door. You open the bedroom door. Hi. Do I have to go inside? Go inside. 
Uh, of course you don't. You're ruining the drama. You're ruining the tension. It's not my fault. <laughs> um, go in room. I'm not sure which room you would like to go to. Go in my room. Duh. <laughs> that actually worked. No, the game's gonna know I was sassy with it now. The bedroom feels utterly uh, familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt me with every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but you still punish me. I can be with you now. Oh, that doesn't sound good. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Ah, uh, how does how does how does one do that? Say hello. Before we end it, let's do some introductions. My name is Big Z. You don't understand. Okay, great. Uh, I guess we'll end it. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It was all my fault. I don't believe it. Like you mean it. Please. Um, okay. It was all my May. It's all May. It's gonna be May. Um, it was all my fault. It was all my fault. Say it. That's what I just said. Jinx, you owe me a soda. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a soda. Fine. I was trying to ease the tension. Uh, it was all my fault. Finally. Oh, it's so good! It gives you goosebumps every time! <laughs> it's so well done! Oh, it's such an amazing game. Like, I know it's just one episode of a game, but it's so well done, and it's so short! Like, I so wish it could go on for longer. I just wish there were more games like this, where, like, you know... I think the fact that they put you in a room, like, it's a more modernized version of what a text-based adventure game could be like. And, like, the fact there are things that you can interact with around the room, the fact you can control your surroundings based off of what you type in the game, you know, and stuff, like, pops up on the walls and the pictures get scratched out, that, like, the eyes and the faces of the pictures get scratched out as you continue and there's thunder and lightning. It's so atmospheric. Like, it just, it helps you get into the game so much more, because I remember as a kid, it was so much easier for me to play text-based adventure games because I had an imagination. Not that I don't have one now, but like now that I'm older, I don't feel like I'm as creative or as inspired as I used to be when it comes to, you know, text-based adventure games or books. Like reading books, I used to like imagine this stuff in my head all the time, like I could picture it. But now that I'm older, I like kind of struggle with that. So like the fact that like they put you in this room that you can like interact with, it's a part of the story. It's all cohesive. It's all thematic. You know, like the room itself is kind of, it makes you feel uneasy. It looks empty. You know, like there's something unsettling about it. Like, you know, just the fact that they put you in that room and like you can still play a text-based adventure game, but it feels like you're in a setting that's perfect for it. It just makes all the difference. And like, I, I don't know. I just wish there was more games like this. Like if someone could just come up with a whole bunch of text-based adventure games where you enter a room and you can manipulate the room and you know, it's all thematic. Like if you're playing like an adventure, text-based adventure where it's like medieval themed, you know, the room is medieval themed and like you can hear swords clanging or like maybe a sword drops down from like the sky or something when you start a fight. I don't know, just like stuff like that, you know, like stuff that makes you feel like you're totally immersed in it would be so amazing. Like, oh, I can't gush about this episode enough. I love it so much. But at the same time, I don't want to gush for too long. I don't want to go on too much of a rant. Um, so I'm going to leave this episode here. If you guys want to check out the game, I will leave a link in the description. Or if you would like to see more, let me know. I highly recommend this game. Like, I still haven't finished it, so I don't know if the ending is any good. But at the same time, like, I love episode one. It's my favorite. I would have bought this game for episode one alone. I mean, I did 
kind of play this game or buy this game for episode one alone. But I also like episode two and three because they're their own stories and they have their own mechanics and each of the episodes are unique from each other. So I really, really like it. It's a really well-made game. And like I said, I'm kind of hoping the ending is just as good as the rest of the game. I don't know. But either way, I'm going to leave this episode here and I'll leave all the information in the description. But that is going to be it for this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, I do want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye.